Okay. So now we're going to do some reading, which is qira'a. 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 What are the basics that you need to be able to read? How can you sound Arabic letters using what? Using short vowels and long vowels. What are the short vowels that you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, so start Fatha and this goes on top. Dhamma goes on top as well. Kasra, where does the kasra go? The bottom. And then sukun. Where does the sukun? On top of the letter, yes. What are the long vowels? Alif. Wow and yeah. Are these long vowels consonants? Do they act as consonants in, in, in words, in Arabic words? No, they don't. You could, in one word, you can have an alif as a consonant, and you can still have an alif as a long vowel. They can both occur in, in an Arabic word. But you just have to be able to know which one is a long vowel and which one is a short vowel. Most likely, the ones that are um, uh, consonants, I mean, which one is a, is a consonant and which one is a long vowel. But most likely, the, one, the ones that are consonants, they either have a hamza on them or they have a short vowel on them. We'll see examples. Okay. So let's try to read this word. What letter is this one? B. And I'm going to put fatha on top of it. How, how are you going to sound this? B. It says. What letter is this one? Yeah. 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 And I'm going to put sukun. How are you going to pronounce it? And then? Bait, perfect. Bait, which means house. House. What's that? Bait. Bait. Let's do this one. Bait. House. Watch this one. What letter is this one? Ba. Ba. And I'm putting fat on top of it. Mm-hmm. And there is what? What's this? Alif. Alif. Is that a consonant or a long vowel? long vowel? A long vowel because I'm not putting any any short vowel or any hamza on top of it. Who can read this one? With the long vowel. Mm -mm. Second one. Bab. Bab. Which means? Door. Bab. 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 Imagine I drop the alif, the long vowel, from this word. What am I going to end up with? I'm dropping the alif, so what am I going to end up with? Just like it is. So I drop the alif, then I'm going to end up with? Bib. Bib. You see it? It's like bib. Literally, if you don't have long vowels, you're going to sound like you're jamming letters or sounds together. Okay? So, bab, this is not, it's not a word. So, bab. Bab. 
Every time you pronounce a long vowel, you become accurate in what you say. And fluent as well. Bab. 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 Okay? There are words actually that only have two letters, but they do make sense. These ones, no, they don't. Okay? Let's get, let's get another example. What letter is this one? Yeah. yeah. And what letter is this one? Uh, dad, dad. dad, it's on the line. Ra, it's underneath. Yed, yed. And you have this one in your lesson. Yed. Hand, hand, yed, yed. And it does not have any long vowels. Still, there two, it's a two-letter uh, word. Yed, yed, but it makes sense. Okay? Yed, yed means one hand. Yed. Yet, yet. Okay. Let's do this one. Who can read this one? What letter is this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's let's break it down. This letter is kh, kh. This one is b, and this one is um same. It has a dot. I know it's confusing now that you have the vowels, but it has a dot. So it, this would be hobs. Hobs mean meaning bread. Hobbs. 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 Mm hmm. All right. Yes. Oh, because that's for the for this ho sound. Right, right. The U is for the dhamma sound. Ho. Ho, ho. This is this. Mm -hmm. Ho, ho. Hobz, hobz. Okay, let's get, we'll get in there. <laughs> okay. What letter is this one? Ta. Uh, Ta. It has and it has what? Fatha. Mm -hmm. So it's to, to, to. Okay. Look what's after it. What is after it? Alif. Am I putting any cons uh, any short vowel on top of it or hamza? Nothing. So what is it? It's a long vowel. To, to. What letter is this one? Wow. 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 Look. What am I putting underneath it? Kasra. Kasra. Mm -hmm. Is it a long vowel? It is, it is a consonant because it has, see the wow is not a long vowel. It is a consonant because it, because it has a short vowel. To we. Okay. What letter is this one? Lam. Perfect. Because you started it. Look, I know you might confuse it with alif. No, but it's a lamb. Alif would start this way. Because alif connects to before but does not connect to after. Lamb connects to both ways. Lamb. Uh, oh, the word. Oh, all right. Hold on. Let's see it. So, ta, we. What am I going to put? What am I putting on top of it? Fetha. Fetha, okay. 
Can somebody read this one? Tawa, Tawil. Tawila. Perfect. Tawila. Tawila. Table. Perfect. Table. Tawila. 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 That is a table. Ta. Every time you say any sound, make sure you know which one is a long vowel and which one is, is a short vowel. Because if you drop the long vowel, you're going to say tawila, tawila, tawila. And that might be similar to tall for a female tall, tawila. And I'm going to show you this one here. Ta. It has a different long vowel. Ta. We. La. Tawila means tall, a tall female. Mm -hmm. Tall. Tawila. So here you have Tawila, and here you have Tawila. See how just the one long vowel changes the whole meaning. The, yeah, the whole word itself. So, tawila means table. Tawila means a tall female. Tawila. Wada? Okay. Let's do this one. Last example. How can you read this one? Okay. How, how are you going to read it? Ba. Okay. What letter is this one? Let me just get. What letter is this one? Ta. And I'm putting what? Fatha. What's this? Uh, alif. Alif. Perfect. Does it have any short vowel or hamza? No. Nothing. So it is a long vowel. What's this one again? Ta. And this one? Alif. Okay. What is this word? How do you say ta? Say it again. Batata. Which means? Potato. Potato. Batata. Batata. Yeah. Potato. Batata, batata. You see the long vowels here? This is a long vowel, this is a long vowel. Here, this is a long vowel. <laughs> okay? Batata. If I drop the two long vowels, batata. <laughs> batata. <laughs> okay? Which is the way we say it actually in Moroccan Arabic, batata. <laughs> we drop the long vowel, say batata. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay? Does that make sense now? All right, that'll be all for the reading part.